welcome to the uh, Project House for the Salem City Historical Preservation Society. We have a very blustery day here in Salem City on Martin Luther King Day. Uh, we're going to take a walk through the take a walk through this uh, early Georgian dwelling on Market Street and uh, and see what lies ahead of us. So come on in. Let's take a look. Craig Perry here. Uh, we're in our project house for the historic Salem City Preservation Society. This is our, our kickoff uh, dwelling. Uh, quite the cold day here in Salem, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we want to explain a little bit about what the society is. Uh, Dr. Mike Gorman from Salem Community College uh, approached me with, with some interest of putting a, a preservation program here to help save or try to save some of Salem's historic dwellings and its culture. And uh, he's assembled a great team. Uh, we have Jack Swain, the superintendent of schools of Salem County, and of course the Honorable Mayor of Washington, Charles Washington. And uh, we have Ron Burkhart, Kathleen Mills, and uh, many other professionals on our team. Uh, we, we have a, a, it's a different, it's a different team this year or this time around, not this year. Um, this has been tried many times before in Salem City. But I think we hit uh, all the right people, and they all have passion this time. Everybody has passion to save the culture and the historical architecture here in Salem. Uh, we're working with, with the city, with the mayor of Washington, and they presented us with 67 uh, Broadway. Uh, it's an early Georgian, dated around 1801, uh, totally brick. And it's fallen in some very, very hard times, as, as you can see by our uh, earlier video piece on the outside, and as you're going to see on the inside here. It's not just the ravages of time, it's unfortunately individuals actually raping um, the, the millwork and architecture involved in these beautiful historic structures that have been vacant. And as you can see by my, my left here, um, unfortunately uh, they, they raped doors, moldings, and this is a great fireplace around in this early Georgian. And, and unfortunately, um, you know, a lot of this happens actually people who live in the town and it's not necessarily people doing this for nefarious reasons such as drugs and things. There's actually people that actually come in to rape these houses, they live in town and, and they, uh, they sell this stuff in, in the antique shops and such. So it's not a good thing and they should be very ashamed of themselves to say the least. But nevertheless, we're here to help put this all back together and uh, we want to set a precedent in, in Salem City. One of, this will be our kickoff house. It's going to be uh, funded and, and, and funded by human power, by volunteers, by uh, by, by kids and, and uh, teenagers and, and older folks, and us. Also, we're going to have to be uh, given tools and machinery uh, to help with the heavy excavating on the back side. And there's another dwelling we're going to be taking down on the back of the property. So it's 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 a community effort that's going to start on this house. But nevertheless, we're still looking for funds. We need funds and donations and other monies to help. Uh, with, the, with the fabric that's missing in this house to put it back the way it was. What we're trying to attempt here is a sympathetic restoration of this home to make it go back to that 1801 when it was built. Uh, not doing any materials that are, that are contemporary. Everything is going to be as original fabric once was. So we're, we're stepping into, this is the parlor. And as you can see, the parlor here beyond being raped, the fireplace being missing, the fireplace surround. Um, suffering extreme water damage here. Um, water damage was coming from a couple of parts. Initially, when the, the vandals came in, they ripped the radiators out, they were ripping piping, they, they pulled down the ceiling and, and such and so forth. So they weren't sympathetic as they were robbing this, this historic dwelling. But the fabric is here, the structure is sound, believe it or not, even though it's, uh, we have no idea how long it's been vacant for 20 or 30 years. But I, I think we have enough fabric to put it back. Never seen this kind of degradation. I mean, the humidity levels are so high in here that you're having actually the paint just flaking up. It's uh, pretty amazing stuff. And uh, this would have probably been the dining room. Uh, we once had a fireplace here. It's been closed off. Okay, as we uh, as we move around the uh, what would have been the, the dining room here in this early Georgian, you can see the back door. This this is how the thieves uh, removed much of the fabric of this house, unfortunately. And still it's an open airway, so we need to seal this up as soon as possible. But through the back here is where the additions were made, probably in the 1850s and 1920s, and that will be cut off to put this Georgian back to original, original status. But nevertheless, we'll take a, a walk into a kitchen area that was probably put on in the 1920s just to see the degradation that's happened to this house. Come on through. Uh, a 
a bit spooky, a bit interesting. Uh, you know, again, the high level moisture in here, but uh, after checking the structure, it feels very sound. Uh, but again, this part of the dwelling is going to go off. And uh, in the back, I'm not sure if we get our camera back there, maybe our, our videographer will go back there. We have John Hohen with us today. He's our videographer that helped us with the, the Salem City Clock. And John's going to engineer uh, a lot of the promotion for the historic Architectural Society of Salem City. And again, this is, a, this is actually a wooden structure, uh, but this, this will go. But uh, this just shows you what uh, 20, 30, 40 years of being vacant and, and what vandals can do. So even stealing the light fixtures off the walls. But the great thing is uh, I'm probably the city or somebody has boarded up the windows, so it actually has helped save. It's encapsulated everything inside here over the years. But uh, let's, let's take a walk upstairs and see what we have. And we actually have a telephone here, so that's a good thing. and rats here too today, but uh, I guess we may have, have anything to help keep us warm. Frigid, absolutely frigid. Okay, let's see. Okay. So this is, this is the grand entryway. Um, and by all accounts, as, as you're looking at the brickwork in, in the front facade of this dwelling, this was a single in 1801. This wall was added to divide. This would have been a grand staircase, or a, it's it's very interesting type of staircase. Three little staircases going up to the third floor, so only about what nine, ten steps going up. But this would have been divided. You would have had two staircases, one dividing left and right, and this grand Georgian house, copied after many of the many of the great houses in England. But sometime, probably soon after it was built. They made it into two dwellings, unfortunately. So they divided upstairs, downstairs, and they really chopped it up. But again, you can see the degradation, the, the theft that's occurred here. I guess the beds weren't worth anything to, to steal, but go on upstairs. fifties and sixties when they this continued to be a, a, a subdivided house uh, and an apartment uh, again this back part of the house is subject to, co to come off so let's continue up the stairway here and uh, go back into the original part of the house and as you make the turn you'll see some of the radiators they probably couldn't carry or got tired of carrying and they just throw them down the steps Probably in the uh, 1850s, which is going to come off. And all the way at the 
the back of the property is a two and a half story building, maybe 20 by 24 footprint that's actually been burned out. That's going to be our first attack here in Salem City. And, and then we're going to do the vegetation and then come on the inside of the house. So again, we've had some volunteers offer some uh, heavy duty machinery to pull down the dwelling in the back and uh, a lot of uh, local volunteers. And, and in this, we want to instill upon young people. That's part, of, that's part of what we're trying to do here with the Preservation Society is instill a sense of community, a sense of pride for young people that want to stay here and work in their community and, and talk to their peers so that they don't tear down and uh, help destroy the community. So it's, it's, it's very, very important. Uh, the second phase of this is going to be creating a community center where anyone in the town that needs help with millwork, uh, woodwork in general, or advice for their historic house can come to us and at a reduced cost, um, we'll have senior citizens and younger people, probably Votech members, producing the millwork for your house. So it's going to be a, a resource for all of, not just Salem City, but Salem County uh, at, a, at a very reasonable reduced rate. So that's, uh, we're looking forward to that. And these are, uh, in, in addition, talking with the mayor, we're trying to uh, find a location. We'd like to have an African American museum in town to highlight uh, you know, all the, the beginning of slavery as it was in Salem, the slave trade as it passed through town. So uh, these are uh, three or four of the main things on our agenda now. But again, this is our, this is our beginning right here with this uh, wonderful Georgian. Let's take a walk up to the third floor then. Again, the, the only real degradation here is where they, they drop the bloody uh, uh, radiators down and crack the stairs, crack some balustrades, but that's easily repaired. Now this is living. I, I like this. A bathroom with a good, good with a good view to the backyard. So uh, again, something probably put it into the the, the, the 50s, 1950s. Uh, two rooms on the upstairs, which is I'm gonna watch the holes in the floor here, but two rooms on the upstairs. Again, extreme, extreme humidity. The roof, uh, the roof needs to be replaced, obviously. But uh, again, radiators are probably too much weight to carry down, uh, so we just left them there. They're not going to reap a, a enough benefits at the scrapyard. But again, uh, plaster work up here. Over here we have a, an open view of the roof, and I'm going to see if we can highlight this with our camera because this is showing still early, early construction. You can see the tree nails that are pegging the, uh, the roof rafters up here, so that's, that's very important. There's a little chicken ladder going up. Uh, there, there has been uh, new, new pine and uh, new, new wood put on the roof at, at some time. But it, nevertheless, you can see tree nails, which showing the historic structure, how it was timber framed in the beginning. basement of 67 and uh, close call we just went through the bottom step and we actually have a refrigerator down here we have some food uh, right here to the right let's see what else we're looks like somebody was in a rush to get out but, uh, and actually isn't this interesting we have we have a some type of, uh, could have been used as an oven over here, let's see, I'm not sure to, sometimes they have bread ovens in the basement, but this is just a, probably a way to release some of the ash in the, in the basement. 
And again, this far wall over here would have been broken through at least in a few places as the houses were one, but uh, uh, but it's been, as you can see, it's been re bricked up. Knob and tube wiring, again, has to be replaced, but the, uh, the timbers look very sound down here. And let's see over here, and we have a heating system. We're very, we recognize that uh, the, the heating system obviously is going to be replaced. So it takes time. It takes time to get into the walls, uh, to take some of the wallpaper, the plaster off to see. It's, it's, it's a tell-all of, of the past, and we can't tell everything about the house and the structure until we start doing this. And uh, we'll have much more updated videos on, on our channel, uh, and so please, please uh, don't hesitate to try and find us. And we'll be doing this as the project commences actually in the next two to three weeks, depending on the weather here. In, uh, in southern New Jersey. So we get a clear break. We're going to start clearing the brush in the back and taking down that existing building.